But we begin this hour's reporting with the breaking news we mentioned out of the Pentagon just revealed that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin indeed was hospitalized with those complications due to prostate surgery. It's News Nation's Kelly Meyer live at the Pentagon as I said she was at the briefing. Uh, Kelly, what's the latest? Yeah, Connell, uh, you know, you were mentioning that we got some more answers that kind of solved the mystery as to what exactly uh, Secretary, Secretary Lloyd Austin was hospitalized for, what he had that, what they called elective procedure for, but it almost leaves m now more questions as to why the Secretary of Defense didn't inform uh, many of those around him here at the Pentagon and the Commander-in-Chief himself as to his diagnosis for prostate cancer, which he had in early December, which he learned of that in early December. And it wasn't clear that it was relayed to much of anybody here at the Pentagon, including the Pentagon press secretary himself coming out to the podium here today. We learned at the White House that the president didn't learn until just this morning, as we just got this statement from uh, Austin's doctors at uh, the medical center there. He also spoke with President Biden on Saturday, we learned, and Austin put out a statement of his own Saturday night, pledging transparency, though he didn't put anything in that statement talking about his cancer. In the briefing today, I asked the Pentagon press secretary what stage of cancer or what more about the diagnosis he could share. Take a listen. Did you mention what stage he was in with the prostate cancer? Um, I'd, I'd refer you back to the statement here. Um, it, it says that um, <coughs> identified prostate cancer, which required treatment um, he was admitted, underwent minimally invasive surgical procedure. Um, he recovered uneventfully. So, so no, I don't have it. But it sounds like um, his prostate cancer was detected early and his prognosis is excellent. And they're saying that that was a minimally invasive surgical procedure. They called this an elective surgery when they first mentioned this in the release on Friday night that the Pentagon press corps had received, including myself. There were a lot of questions today as to why that was referred to as an elective procedure when it had to do with cancer. And there were several questions that the Pentagon press secretary just couldn't answer, referring to this review that they're going to do in terms of the uh, how they learned of this information and the transparency uh, that evolved or devolved in that process and just how they could fix it going forward. But again, a lot we still don't know and almost more questions are arising at this hour than we have before. Well, speaking um, of questions, I just want to be clear on one thing myself, Kelly, if I can, because um, we did not carry the White House briefing that I believe you were referring to live, even though we covered the Pentagon briefing live. We saw how uh, General Ryder handled some of those questions, but I believe it was John Kirby, right, who spoke about President Biden's timeline. So when you say he found out this morning, you mean about the prostate cancer, right? He already knew he was in the hospital. Is that what they're saying? He didn't know he had prostate cancer until this morning? I'm doing good. Exactly. And that's what hmm. has uh, brought up a lot of questions because we know that the commander in chief learned of his hospitalization uh, four days after he went into that hospital on January 1st. Why wasn't it brought up then? Then the two spoke on Saturday. Why wasn't it brought up then? And then it wasn't until just this morning when that statement was released from Austin's doctors that John Kirby says the president learned about that. And even Kirby himself in the briefing saying that wasn't optimal the way that they learned about this and the way that Secretary Austin went about this. And another question out of this briefing here today was or does Secretary Austin plan on resigning? And the right. answer from the Pentagon press secretary is no, he doesn't plan on resigning. OK, so he's still in the hospital, recovering, now in recovery, no plans on resigning or anything like that. The president found out about the diagnosis this morning. It's, it's quite a story still developing. As you say, we still have questions. Kelly, thank you. Uh, Kelly Meyer covering it all live from the, uh, the Pentagon. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.